G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a Metabox Prime PC70DP, also made by the company known as Clevo. It also does come under the name of XMG Pro 17. So this particular one, I'm opening it up to upgrade the RAM. I'm going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. So we'll start off by taking all the Phillips head screws that we can see out. And this particular one it does have... I'm not the original owner, I'm the second owner of this one. And the first owner had upgraded the RAM to 16 plus 32, which is an odd memory configuration, as you're not getting the dual channel performance properly there. So I want to change that. And I want to see what other upgrades have potentially happened along the way. This one is known as a Metabox Prime S, and it's got a 105 watt 3060 in there. It does also have a 10th gen i7 10850H, which is an 8 core processor, and that goes up to 5 gigahertz. So this is a pretty big beast. It's also got a 17 inch screen, and the particular person spec this out to be a to be a 4K slash 100% Adobe RGB calibrated panel which is also running at 60 hertz. So it's got all that power. It's got all that power, but it's only going at 4K. So I would have rather a higher refresh panel, and at this point in time, it's not worth spending the money to change that. So I'm not gonna bother going down that path. Now that disconnected, or well, those screws out. Some of them didn't want to leave. That is normal and expected. Some are just stubborn, kind of like people. Now if I take this. There we go. There we go. Now I'll make progress. I'll work down a corner over here. A little bit stubborn at the front. There we go. There we go. Now if I go back to those screws, they don't want to leave. And we take this off. So looking inside, we can see two RAM sticks here. We can see the battery here. We can see two NVMe drives over here. Fans looking nice and clean. Fan pattern's actually pretty cool. Now I'll move my screws out of the way and let's see what we can do. So to begin with, we have a 73 watt hour battery, which does look a bit tiny in here. But I think it's just the, the 17 inch model that makes it look that way. So I want to disconnect the battery first. So if I zoom in, go to here, I should be able to wiggle these out, putting two nails on each side of it, pull back, and we now have that disconnected. Next up, I want to check out, see what RAM's already existing in here. So we have 16 gig of PC4 3200. We have this massive stick over here. We've got Crucial 32 gig running at 3200 as well. Oops, sorry, I'll get you guys into focus here. So this must have been the added on sticker ramp. That barcode's there, makes me think that happened from the factory. This one here, the Samsung stick. I would also assume from the factory. That's really suffered a bit more heat than the other one, judging by that. Actually, no, one's face down, one, one's face up. Next up, we have the wireless card over here, which is also upgradable. And if we go over to the NVMe, NVMe drives over here, we have two of them available. So let's undo that. As you can see, that one lifted up. Now I would assume 500 gig. By name, I'm gonna butcher. I'm gonna assume it's Fison, but I do see a Kingston controller on it. I'm not too familiar with that one. The one beside it, I am a bit more familiar with. Which is definitely a decent performing NVMe SSD. So I'm gonna do a reinstall of Windows onto here. And I will be putting it onto this one if it's not already done so. So we have a WD Black. An SN750. These perform really well. Uh, 
So I'll put this NVMe back in. And strangely, it's not quite making complete clearance under there. A bit odd. Screw it down. Go. One, two. Now I'm going to replace that 32 with just a 16. So I'll put that in here. In here. 16. Flip it over. 16. Samsung. Push that down. Take the 32 out. Now one other thing to note. It does look to also use a very similar Asus jack. Or Asus. And if you do damage that, you will require to take it the, the main board to replace. So try to be cautious of that in the future. Next up from here, I'm going to put the back cover back on, reconnect the battery, which does look to be a bit more a pain. I believe there only looks to be one screw holding the battery, so I'll take the battery out over here. Move that back if it lets me. There we go. Lift it up. Does I would do say there is probably another power, uh, another screw underneath here. I'm just going to fold that back slightly just to plug it in and move it back to its original position. Get it back under there. There we go. Screw this back in. Now from here we'll zoom out and put this back cover back on. Go. Next up, slide this over. Work it way around. Go. Now let's put these Phillips head screws back in. So we'll start with just the ones that are already here. Before I reintroduce the other ones. So right now it's got 32 gig of RAM in this one. The i7. 105 watt 3060 and the 4K 100% RGB or ARGB calibrated display. This one would be a little media creation beast. Granted, could have left the mismatch of RAM in there. I believe that would probably produce a fairly negative performance as opposed to having matched capacities. That's thanks to Jared's test with that one. If you're curious about various RAM configurations, definitely check out his video on that. And last screw here. So I hope that helps you with opening your Metabox Prime S PC70 DP, or also known as the XMG Pro 17. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.